friends. We are reading through the Bible and we're going to be jumping into some of the Psalms. Uh, we've already read a lot of the Psalms, so those videos are available. We'll be starting with Psalm 98, so grab your Bible if you want to read along. Psalm 98. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful deeds. His right hand has won a mighty victory. His holy arm has shown his saving power. The Lord has announced his victory and has revealed his righteousness to every nation. He has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Israel. The ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break out in praise and sing for joy. Sing your praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the ram's horn, make a joyful symphony before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the earth and all living things join in. Let the rivers clap their hands in glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and all the nations with fairness. Psalm 99, the Lord is king. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy. Mighty king, lover of justice, you have established fairness. You have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of cloud, and they followed the laws and decrees that he gave them. O oh Lord our God, you answered them. You were forgiving a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem. For the Lord our God is holy. Yes, he is. Amen to that. Psalm 100, an invitation to enter joyfully into God's presence. Shout with joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing with joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go out into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good. His unveiling love continues forever. And his faithfulness continues to each generation. Psalm 101. I will sing of your love and justice, Lord. I will praise you with songs. I will be careful to live a blameless life. When will you come to help me? I will lead a life of integrity in my own home. I will live a life of integrity in my own home. I will refuse to look at anything vile or vulgar. I hate all who deal crookedly. I will have nothing to do with them. I will reject perverse ideas and stay away from everything evil. I will not tolerate people who slander their neighbors. I will not endure conceit and pride. I will search for faithful people to be my companions. Only those who are above reproach will be allowed to serve me. I will not allow deceivers to serve in my house, and liars will not stay in my presence. My daily task will be to ferret out the wicked. Is that what that says? My daily task will be to ferret out the wicked and free the city of the Lord from their grip. Psalm 102, Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my plea. Don't turn away from me in my time of distress. Bend down to listen and answer me quickly when I call to you. For my days disappear like smoke and my bones burn like red hot coals. My heart is sick, withered like grass, and I have lost my appetite because of my groaning. I'm reduced to skin and bones. I am like an owl in the desert, like a little owl in a far off wilderness. I lie awake, lonely as a solitary bird on the roof. My enemies taunt me day after day. They mock and curse me. I eat ashes for food. My tears run down into my drink because of your anger and wrath. For you have picked me up and thrown me out. My life passes as swiftly as the evening shadows. I am withering away like grass. But you, O Lord, will sit on your throne forever. Your fame will endure to every generation. Oh boy, I've got a lot of notes here. You will arise and have mercy on Jerusalem. And now is the time to pity her. Now is the time you promise to help. For your people love every stone in her walls. And cherish even the dust in her streets. Then the nations will tremble before the Lord. The kings of the earth will tremble before his glory. For the Lord will rebuild Jerusalem. He will appear in his glory. He will listen to the prayers of the destitute. He will not reject their pleas. Let this be recorded for future generations, so that a people not yet born will praise the Lord. Tell them the Lord looked down from his heavenly sanctuary. He looked down to earth from heaven. 
to hear the groans of the prisoners, to release those condemned to die. And so the Lord's fame will be celebrated in Zion, his praises in Jerusalem, when multitudes gather together and kingdoms come to worship the Lord. He broke my strength in midlife, cutting short my days. But I cried to him, oh my God, who lives forever. Don't take my life while I'm so young. Long ago, you had laid the foundation of the earth and made the heavens with your hands. They will perish, but you remain forever. They will wear out like old clothing. You will change them like a garment and discard them. But you are always the same. You will live forever. The children of your people will live in security. Their children's children will thrive in your presence. Psalm 103, God's great love for us. What God does for us tells us what he is really like. The author is David. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Yes, with my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. He revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. He will not constantly accuse us nor remain angry forever. He does not punish us for all our sins. He does not deal harshly with us as we deserve. Ain't that the truth? For his unfailing love towards those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. He has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. For he knows how weak we are. He remembers that we are only dust. Our days on earth are like grass, like wildflowers. We bloom and die. The wind blows and we are gone, as though we had never been here. But the love of the Lord remains forever. Amen. With those who fear him, his salvation extends to the children's children, of those who are faithful to his covenant, of those who obey his commandments. The Lord has made the heavens his throne. From there he rules over everything. Praise the Lord, you angels, you mighty ones who carry out his plans, listening for each of his commands. Yes, praise the Lord, you armies of angels who serve him and do his will. Praise the Lord, everything he has created, everything in all his kingdom. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Uh, I think we're going to do one more. Psalm 104. It's a little bit long, but not too long. Um, I think the Psalms are just so beautiful. It's nice to hear somebody cry out to the Lord and deal with trials and tribulations and feel struggle and feel alone, feel like God's not necessarily listening, but continuing to lament to God and cry out to him for help and his love and grace. Appreciating God through his creation. Let all that I am praise the Lord. O God, O Lord my God, how great you are. You are robed with honor and majesty. You are dressed in a robe of light. You stretch out the starry curtain of the heavens. You lay out the rafters of your home in the rain clouds. You make the clouds your chariot. You ride upon the wings of the wind. The winds are your messengers. Flames of fire are your servants. You place the world on its foundation so it would never be moved. You clothe the earth with floods of water, water that covered even the mountains. At your command, the waters fled. At the sound of your thunder, it hurried away. Mountains rose and valleys sank to the levels you decreed. Then you set a firm boundary for the seas, so they would never again cover the earth. You make springs pour water into the ravines, so streams gush out and down from the mountains. They provide water for all the animals, and the wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds nest beside the streams and sing among the branches of the trees. You send rain on the mountains from your heavenly home, and you fill the earth with the fruit of your labor. You cause grass to grow over, you cause grass to grow for the livestock, I'm so sorry, um, and plants for people to use. You allow them to produce food from the earth, wine to make them glad, olive oil to soothe their skin, and bread to give them strength. The trees of the Lord are well cared for, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. There are birds that make their nests, and their storks make their homes in the cypresses. High in the mountains live the wild goats, and the rocks form a refuge for the hyraxes. You made the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows when to set. You send the darkness, and it becomes night, when all the forest animals prowl about. Then the young lions roar for their prey, stalking the food provided by God. At dawn they slink back into their dens to rest. Then people go off to their work, where they labor until evening. O oh Lord, what a variety of things that you have made. In wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the ocean, vast and wide, teeming with life of every kind, both large and small. See the ships sailing along, and Leviathan, which you made to play in the sea. 
They all depend on you to give them food as they need it. When you supply it, they gather it. You open your hand to feed them and they are richly satisfied to include us. Every gift we get is from the Lord. But if you turn away from them, they panic. Me too. When you take away their breath, they die and turn again to dust. When you give them your breath, life is created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord continue forever. The Lord takes pleasure in all he has made. The earth trembles at his glance. The mountains smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God to my last breath. May all my thoughts be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let all sinners vanish from the face of the earth. Let the wicked disappear forever. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen to that. Thank you guys so much for reading through some of the Psalms with me. And um, I'm actually going to be reading in the book of Esther probably next. One of the two books of the Bible that's named after a female. Um, I think that all the words of the Bible, all the books of the Bible are fantastic. And it's a true blessing to have you here. I know that a lot of us are going through very difficult things. And we try to be happy and to walk in the glory of God, to glorify him with absolutely everything that we do. But it is okay to lament to God. It's okay to feel alone. It's okay to feel like he might not even be there because God's presence has nothing to do with how we feel. God is present everywhere. He is everywhere. He's all powerful. He's all knowing. And there's not anything that he misses. So he knows when you're hurting. He knows when you're struggling. He knows when I am too. And it's okay. We don't have to pretend that everything's perfect because I know in my life it's not. And I'm grateful for y'all's prayers. I could use some prayers in my personal life, in my career, wanting direction from God in my life to know what he wants me doing. And I am praying for you guys. I know you all are dealing with things with your friends and family members, your careers, and everything in between. And God is with you. And I am praying for you all. This is a community of love and kindness because we are brothers and sisters in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And if you don't believe in Jesus, I'm still happy that you're here. Um, but I can tell you that Jesus is the best thing that has ever happened to me, will ever happen to me. And even though I still face a lot of difficulty, maybe I struggle more than I used to, but I'd rather struggle with Jesus than without him. And I'm just grateful for your all's prayers and I'm grateful for your company and the fellowship that we have together. Uh, looking forward to continue to press through the Bible with you. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye-bye.